Who just wants to watch World Cup? Jeff Nails, another draft day. Nails, this time five has 98. I got some more. just loves it some Kevin James. Fucking Kevin James. It's the history of bad. It's bad. It's the history of bad. It's so bad. It's the history of bad ideas. It's the history of bad. Oh, yeah. It's the history of bad. Please note that any comments, jokes, questions, maybe, anything that we say on the History of Bad Ideas is all in good fun, and remember, we insult everybody. Our thoughts, opinions, questions, anything else, actions that we do on the show do not reflect any of our employers, organizations, advertisers, or anyone else that is associated with the History of Bad Ideas. And remember, at the end of the day, it's just a joke. Welcome to the History of Bad Ideas, episode number 444, The Mark of the Demon? Uh, no, I think it's just like good luck in China. Oh, Year of the Dragon. Great job. Sure. Or of the Rat, the Tiger. Actually, it's the Year of the Tiger this year. I never remember. Oh. Uh, <laughs> um, Although... I did I, that was correct. We got a ding because uh. it was correct. Year of the Tiger. Because the Bengals went to the Super Bowl this year and they said it was destiny because it was the Year of the Tiger. Well, then it wouldn't have been that last year because... Whatever, like, I don't know. It, it's Febu- I don't know, Jeff. February when it, the new Chinese New Year takes over, so... All I know is the new Chinese year, uh, the new Chinese New Year really screwed up my Kickstarter, so... It screws up shipping on almost everything. Yeah, so I did get it, though, the Dead Reckoning. It's just, you know... Now we got to play it. Yeah, we got to. We got to find some time to play that game. So. And I'm the intern. Hey! <laughs> soon, <laughs> soon to be promoted. I, uh, funny thing, we were going to promote you this week, but Jim and Blake, who are part of the voting committee, are not here this week, so we got to push it to next week. I feel like you almost, you, you have it. I feel like it's there. I feel like it's going to be there, Brian. You know, Meghan Markle would have Markle would have some uh, inspirational words, but she can't. She's not here this week. She's not. Damn straight. <sighs> and we do have some uh, a request though for TV theme songs this week. So I know, and I'm out. alone now. Jim's not here oh, to help yeah. me. I think I'm alone now. I don't know the rest of it. <laughs> there doesn't seem <laughs> to be anyone. Right, anyone around. around? There we go. And it's, I think, we're alone now, not I'm alone now. I think I'm alone now. I know a lot about music, Brian. You should really follow me. Or we can do the Weird Al version. I think I'm a clone now. Ooh. Is that a newer one? No. Oh. (laughs) (laughs) Has he released any new stuff? Not for a couple of years, I guess. Like, uh, Mandatory Fun or something was, I think, his last album that had, like, uh, word crimes. and. I think he's living off the I'm Fat money. I would if I were him. Hell yeah. He does tour, though. I think he would be a fun concert to go to. Yeah, I think he was coming through here this year, maybe? Really? This year or last year. I would I would see him. I think my brother, not a pants, but another brother, I think he, him and his wife went a couple years ago when he yeah. toured. I mean, um, he's got a movie coming out about his, his life now. So that's he's true. That. Well, it doesn't matter. There's going to be no concerts because now we got Monkey Pox coming, so. <sighs> yeah. That's cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Another pandemic. Here we go. I'm just saying, if I have to shut down the studios again, I'm going to try to get some back money, or some money back on my rent. I paid for a year in advance down here. <laughs> I better get something back. <laughs> uh, I don't know. We can apply for PPE loans, just like some of our... Oh, favorites. we got that in the oh! news of the geek! We got that. We got that. Brian, how the hell are you? I'm pretty good, man. Good. Pretty good. We don't really have any snacks this week. We don't. Well, I'm we eating, do, but I'm nothing like Jolly Rancher gummies. Well, not to try. I mean, I'm talking like. I mean, we got these hickory sticks, but I'm going to hold off on with Jim and uh, Blake on those because hickory sticks do not sound good. I bet they're delicious. Mm, salt and vinegar. Yeah, it's not bad. I'm excited yeah. for those. I think they're yeah, they're like fry shaped thick potato wedge sticks. potato sticks from the Pop Culture Cafe. Just to let you guys know. Um, yeah. So. Um, I brought Pez. Yeah, you did. Thank you. Two pounds. I got to get that. Uh, I got to get some more Pez for the expo. Since September 23rd through 25th, make sure you get your tickets at CincinnatiComicExpo.com. Bill Shatner. Yeah, that's right. He'll be there. Chris Claremont. 
He'll be there. Darn straight. Kevin Conroy. He'll be there, the voice of Batman. I am Batman. As everyone says, the best Batman. He is the best Batman. Um, so, yeah, September 23rd through 25th. Get your tickets now. Hobie will be there. And uh, we'll be playing some trivia, giving away. Uh, I do want to say, Kevin at Cincy Explorer, he provided a gift or a prize for the expo. Ooh. He sent it over. I have received it. So we want to say thank you to Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. He provided a Ghostbuster sweatshirt, a new one, brand new one he found. Nice. So uh, that's going to be a prize. He said to throw it up there for the trivia. Found, episode. like, on the side of the road? No, no, he no. bought it. He oh, bought it. Oh, okay. He bought it. So we appreciate that. Uh, yes, thank you, Kevin. Thank so you, Kevin. That was very nice. Uh, Brian. Yes. It was a big week. What? I watched a Kevin James film. What'd you watch? Home Team. Oh, yeah, the Sean Payton one? Yes! <laughs> and? Uh, my five-year-old hated it. Uh, now, did he hate the fact that it was, like, about football and he doesn't care? Or did he hate the fact that it was Kevin James? Or uh, I think everything because he wanted to watch Marmaduke, the cartoon, a brand-new cartoon on Netflix. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, it was a big movie weekend at my household. Uh, no offense to your five-year-old, but Marmaduke sounds terrible. Uh it, it's going to be on nerdly.co.uk. I'm going to write a review. Uh, you can follow us there, too. Um, it's horrible. <laughs> Marmaduke. Like, it looks like cheap cartoon, like animation, and it was not good. Um, but it was also made in 2018, <laughs> and they just got released. <laughs> So it's been pushed around to theaters, and then they didn't do that. Then streaming, and then COVID happened, and they had to like finish up some of the animation. So it was supposed to be in 2018. came out this year. Pete Davidson's one of the voices. J.K. Simmons. Well, you can't go wrong with J.K. Simmons. I'm sure he put in a great performance. It was uh, the animation seems like the old CD-ROM cartoons. Remember from the back in the computer days? Hey, we're trying to have a podcast over here. What are you doing over there? <laughs> I'm not sure who he's yelling at. Brian. What did I do? It was loud. Thank you. I don't want to get a one-star review. I don't really care. No, okay. Uh, <laughs> but we love our listeners. Are we, we in this for reviews, though? No. Anyways. But Home Team. Home yeah. Game. What do we watch? Home Team. Sean Payton. It's on Netflix. Uh, he gets suspended from the Saints. Um, and then he goes to Texas. And coaches his son's team. It's based on a true story. His 12-year-old son's team. It was actually, according to everything I read, it was pretty accurate in Fairly terms accurate, of what they yeah. did. Mm-hmm. They weren't as bad as they showed in the in the movie. Right. Um, but, yeah. Uh, so. Oh, the movie made him look like a pathetic football team, and he came in and turned them around? Yeah. But they said they were winning, but then once he came in, in real life, like he kind of gave them dumbed-down Saints plays, New Orleans Saints offensive plays, and they just start blowing everyone away. Um, they played a rival, the Porcupines, in the in the movie, and in the real life, that's who they play too. Um, mm. So it was really good. Um, I really enjoyed it. Uh, it was humorous. Yeah, I, I was shocked. Did you see it? Yeah. Oh, okay. It. Yeah. It was like enjoyable. It. it was a good kids movie. Yeah. Um, the 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 breakout star from the Mighty Ducks TV series, Game Changer or whatever that is. Yeah. Uh, the podcast guy? Yeah. He was in it. He was like one of the main kids in it. Yeah, he's the center. Cool. Uh, he was pretty funny. I like him. Yeah, he's fine. Um, so he's playing football and hockey? Yeah. Too many Find sports. This kid up. Um, but yeah, it, I, I have to admit, Brian, I really wanted to hate it, and it was enjoyable. It wasn't like fantastic, but if you're looking for an enjoyable, lighthearted show, it, it, was, it was fun. And even Kevin James wasn't bad. It, I, yeah. So I, you will not hear a complaint out of me. Yeah. So when you get caught cheating in the NFL, just go coach your child's team. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Taylor Lautner was in it too from Twilight fame, and yeah. and he's he's, uh, he's in that world that whole like Netflix. He was in no like oh. he was in Grown Ups too. Oh yeah, that's right. We have Rob Schneider. Was oh in the, yeah, he was in the uh, Billy Madison six. Yeah, like really Taylor Lautner was yeah. Wow, good for him. So yeah, he's, he's he's in the Happy Madison. Happy Madison, not yep. Billy Madison. That's right. Yeah, uh, I didn't know it was a Happy Madison film either. Mm-hmm. And then Rob Schneider shows up. <laughs> yeah, it was enjoyable. Um, I, I liked it enough. So, 
Good to see Taylor Lautner getting some work. You know, he could have been the next big thing. He was in that action movie that was set in Pittsburgh with Sigourney Weaver. Sure. It did not go well. <laughs> it, it, it flopped. I think it was Abandoned. He also did pretty good with Twilight. Yeah, I don't think he's hurting for money, right? Probably not. And if so, he could just do, like, commercials over in China because they paid tons of money for that. So Yeah, as long as you don't make fun of uh, their... Uh, I was going to say emperor, but... Uh, <laughs> it's not an emperor. It's a democracy. Yes. yes as long is. as you... <laughs> as, as long as you vote for the right people. That's right. Who's on the ballot this week? This year? The emperor. Anyone else? Nope. <laughs> uh, and then we saw... Last thing I saw, Uncharted. Oh, yeah. Uh, have you seen that? I still haven't seen it. It's on uh, video on demand now for six bucks to rent. Pass. Did you see it? No. Oh. I'm passing paying six bucks for oh, it. Oh, okay, okay. It, it's wait. going to be streaming yeah, soon. I'll wait till it pops up somewhere else. Paramount might have it. I think it's Paramount. Um, but my son and I, my oldest son and I, really wanted to see it for a while. Uh, it was. Re- I enjoyed it. Um, it is very Indiana Jones-like. I was hoping that they would go to a lot more different. Um, they would go to more um, uh, scene like um, uh, what do you call it? Locations. Locations. Thank you. And see like scenery in that, and like more m- puzzles in that. But that was okay. I mean, that was the only thing that I was like, oh, I wish they would go to more locations and that, like Indiana Jones and Bond and that. But it was overall, it was enjoyable. Did they do the thing where they traveled by map? Like yes. Indiana Jones. Yep. Like the Muppets do. You yep. travel by map. Um, overall, though, uh, Antonio Banderas is in it, which I did not realize. Uh, the villain was fun. Marky Mark was decent. And Tom Holland, he that kid might go somewhere. Mark my words. He might get a big role yet. Uh, <laughs> he's enjoyable. He really is a lot of fun in it. He should play The Flash. Oh, Ezra Miller's doing that. No, nah, probably not much longer. <laughs> what are you talking about? I think they've already officially removed him. <laughs> I just want him removed from the Flash, <laughs> and nothing. Don't replace him. Just <laughs> it was, get him out and see if you can still make sense of the yeah. film. It's a DC um, film. I'm sure he could. Um, he might be in the next movie because they pretty much filmed it all, didn't they? Nope. Not Take him did. out. Oh, they did. Oh. Take him out. Just <laughs> well, they did that to Kevin Spacey. Just put. <laughs> just make it Michael Keaton, <laughs> right? Isn't he in it? Sure. I think he's in it. I think he's got a cameo. Yeah, put him in it. He's fine. So, um, yeah. So there you go. There's my movies this week. Uncharted, very well done. Brian, what'd you watch? What did I watch? I stumbled across Uh-oh. a show that I r- vaguely remember watching years ago. Third Watch. Oh, God. Yeah. The uh, first responders. Yeah. like yeah. The, It's like the third. The overnight. The, yeah, the, like the... Like third shift or whatever. I remember liking that series. It was, it, like, I, I had been looking for it for like years ago because I had wanted because I had seen a, something pop up about it. And I was like, oh yeah, I'd like to watch all of that because I never did like finish it. Yeah, and I, it's never popped up anywhere. And on all of all places, it's on Roku. Really? Like the Roku channel has all six seasons of it. All huh. right. Um. So I'm like. 50 I watch I've watched like 15 episodes so far of the first season and it I love it. It was so How good. How many seasons? 6. Really? Okay. I um, remember watching it uh growing up and I really enjoyed it. Yeah, it was like I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um I uh I'm I'll check. I wonder if it's on anything else because It's not. Really? Cuz I looked after I saw the Roku thing. Like, wow. Cuz uh originally I was looking, like, I was trying to find it, and it's like, you can only buy the seasons on Amazon or Apple, and they're like hmm. 30 bucks a season. Because I always forget, like, Paramount Plus has, like, 18 channels. Yeah. Like, they have, like, a, their own TV channels. Right. On their app. And I always forget about that. And it's like, they have some decent stuff on there. Yeah, and, uh, it, and this is even, like, on the free, like the free part of Roku. Like, you don't need anything. Really? Like, you just download Roku huh. and, like, sign in, create an account, and yeah. get to watch all that shit for free. Huh. So I was like, that's awesome. But Well, because of you, I got to watch Sports Night again on yeah. IMDb. Well, it's, Amazon it's Free... It's Freebie now. Freebie, yeah. Freebie TV. Yes. Which, but... Might be the worst name ever. Next to the Byron Allen channel. And what's that on? Amazon. 
It's an IMDb channel. It changed oh, to Amazon it, Freebie. Yeah, it used to be IMDb TV. Mm-hmm. Now it's called Freebie. Free, oh. And IMDb, well, Freebie now, has some decent shows on. Like, it was yeah. some free movies. Uh, I mean, you can look in that, and it's so not bad. Free, Freebie is free. Mm-hmm. How yep. do you, is it an, an app, or? So, it's it's within the Amazon Prime. Like, oh, okay. It's yeah. within that. So if you've got Amazon Prime, you, you get, get it. This. Yep. yep, gotcha. Yep. No, but I was just, like, looking, kind of, like, going through the, the cast list of this show, and I was like, there's not any, like, really, like, huge stars in this show. Who's the main male uh, actor? Bob. Um, the, like... the well, EMT, wasn't he? Uh, so that was um, Michael Beach. Okay. I always thought he would be a bigger star. Uh, no, I think you're thinking of uh, Bobby... What's his name? Now I'm going to uh, look. Told you, Bob. Come on. Bobby, You're right. Bobby Cannavale. That's it. Yeah. Oh. Like, he's, like, the, probably, like, the biggest. That's it. Um, like. I'm trying to see what he's. Uh, station agent. Oh, Ed, great movie. Uh, who's uh, Eddie Sabir, Sabir, Sab, I don't know how to say his last name. Sabaro. Sabaro. Sibrian. Eddie Sibrian. Oh, Like, okay. I've seen him in stuff. Yeah, that name sounds familiar, but I can't place him. Like. But there's, like, not, like, really, like, a big, just, like, a big star attached to the show. Mm-hmm. And it's just really good. I mean, it's kind Bobby of... Bobby Campbell was in um, um, Boardwalk Empire. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He was great in that. I mean, he's been in a ton of stuff. Yeah. Um, like... Nurse Jackie. Yeah, yeah 2014. <laughs> um, Nobody wants that. Oh, he was in Paul Blart Mall Cop. Yeah. He fought... <laughs> Oh, he was in uh, the Lebowski sequel, The Jesus Rolls. <laughs> oh, that could be did bad. Did they make that? Yeah, they made it. Oh, did they release it? Well, that's a better question. It's an hour and 25 minutes, Jeff, so you know what that means. It's not it's good. Not it's under <laughs> 90 minutes. I guess maybe they didn't release it as a feature film. Made It was uh, budgeted for $4.5 million. Oh, man. <laughs> Sorry. So, like, I'm scrolling through, like, looking at the cast list for this show. So, Charlie Day from It's Always Sunny is in five episodes. Really? Yeah. Um, Nick Turturro. Yeah. Tom Berenger is in four episodes. Oh! Was he a sniper? <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> or a washed-up baseball player. That's right. <laughs> uh, Mia Farrow's in four episodes. Wow. <laughs> How do you get her? Right? Yeah. <laughs> Better question. Why do you get her? Sterling K. Brown is in like four episodes, oh, five wow. episodes. Uh, this Th- is us and this week. One more episode. This was us. Ooh, but dum bum. Gene Simmons is in three episodes. Oh, of this, of this show. They actually have to surgically repair his tongue. I think that's part of it. Oh man, no! Like I was just, I'm. I was so pleasantly surprised that I stumbled upon this because like. I even debated like buying it off of eBay, like, but I was like, yeah, I'll find it eventually. And then literally, like, better question: Was Mr. Belvedere found? No, I'm still looking for Belvedere, <laughs> and I'm all, we're almost done with Night Court. So oh, we're you said nine seasons of that, right? Yeah, we're on Jeez like on. the like we're on like the eighth or tenth episode of the seventh season. Okay, okay, Jeff, what have you seen? Uh, not much this week. I think I started a rewatch of the uh, last season of the Umbrella Academy. Oh, mm. I think I, I don't even know if I finished that. I kind of got bored with it. You get bored with everything you start. I know it's really a it's you, a problem. You need, you need to be a finisher, Jason. I know that's what my wife says. Uh, but anyways, uh, okay, I gotta go back and watch that. There's at least three times she didn't say that. That's true. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Uh, I think you can still get that without finishing. Mm, maybe. Fake, 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 fake. <laughs> um, Obi-Wan Kenobi starts this week. Two episodes on Friday. Oh, it's Friday now? Yeah. The rampant rumor, and I don't know if this is true. The rampant rumor is that he dies in it. And in Star Wars A New Hope, it's actually a force projection like Luke did in the last one. In whatever that was, Rise of Scott, uh, uh, Last Jedi. Uh, <sighs> I hope you're shitting me. No, that's one of the rumors out there. Please don't. Well, because when Luke was 
like projecting he wasn't dead yet. Yeah. 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 <sighs> That's one of the rumors. Quit telling me rumors. I saw that today, and I'm like, I hope this isn't true. Why are you reading rumors? I'm not. It was on Twitter, and it popped up. And I was like, whoa, what the hell is this? They're like, Brigger, read this. Like, Damn it. I don't think that's how Twitter works. Uh, have you seen Elon Musk? Uh, it does now. I have not. Oh. Sorry. I blocked him. Muted him. Oh, okay. Muted all See, of... you buy a Tesla. I, I will not. <laughs> I, I muted the word Tesla. Oh. SpaceX. Oh. All of it. I'm muted. Don't see it. They haven't done any new SpaceX ships, have they? Couldn't Ever since Michael Strahan broke it. Couldn't tell you. I don't know. I don't know anything about it. Okay. Anything else, Jeff? Uh, just your, you know, so every week stuff I've been watching, you know. Okay. Your tear jerkers like This Is Us. Oh, my God. A million little things. <laughs> I know you're not caught up with that. You probably gave up on that. Nope, nope. We're watching it because it's coming back for uh, yeah, one more season. It. Yep. Uh, mm-hmm. Midway through next season, though. It's a halfway... They're starting... A half season? Yeah, or? well, I think they're going to do like 15 episodes or whatever, but they're going to start it halfway through the season. Uh, they're, the they're not going to start till like January? Yeah. Or? Mid-season, that's what it is. Sorry, mid-season. Um, yeah, we're, we're, This Is Us is up there. We're actually uh, trying to get through uh, 1883 right now. We went back to that because we saw the first three episodes, so we just... Same here, and we just haven't got back to it. Uh, they're making a new one with Harrison Ford, so there you go. Harrison Ford and Helen Mirren. Yeah. 1932, I Two. think. Yep. I, I kind of like that yeah. era. Like, just the 20s and 30s. The depression. I yes. I think it's a good backdrop for a good st- like for storytelling. It's depression good. is such a great, fun era. It's it good, is. It's a good preparation. Because... <sighs> I'm What? Wait, what? We are doing fine. No, everything's great here. <laughs> everything's fine. This is fine. Nothing's going on. I got a text from my buddy and lives in California, and he's like, "How much are you paying for gas?" I'm like, "I don't know, like four forty, six seventy nine." Where oh. he's at in California? Well, it is California, though. I mean, he's like in the way away from any popular thing in California, like in the farming area. Wait a minute, there's more than that. There's more than L.A. and yeah. San Francisco. Whoa, that's weird. You have to pay for the privilege of living in California. Yeah. Is there a privilege to live in California? They think so. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, I mean, come on. Rob Lowe does commercials for him. He does. He does. Um, yeah. Gas, I think I paid four fifty eight today. So that was awesome. You overpaid. I did. I did. Because um, the expensive one I drive past to get here was less than that. Yeah. Um, we. I was meeting my wife at the... Uh, car, uh, car shop because we had dropped the car off um overnight and so i was following her out there i was like oh crap my light's on so i stopped uh at a non kroger's <laughs> non deal uh you can't get a deal and yeah i was like damn it so i didn't even fill up all the way and it was 50 bucks so that was awesome so that was wonderful uh speak of complaining we haven't done this in a while <laughs> so we haven't complained in a while no no not us not us this is us <laughs> we are going to do something called community creation, uh, community complaints. We did oh. this a while back. I just got to find it. Oh, okay. <laughs> you read the complaints, complaints about uh, from uh, your community. Yes. So I won't say where I'm at, but anyway, here we go. This is uh, most uh, uh, townships, uh, neighborhoods have Facebook pages, you know, like, I don't know, Cincinnati Happenings or something like that. But it's more geared towards your neighborhood and that. So this is just some from mine that I would share for you just to show Brian that it's not all bad in the world. Okay, quote. Okay, so the other day I had made a post complaining about all the noise coming from this company that she lives next to. After checking it out farther, I believe it is coming. F- oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. Wait, let, I messed up already. You Hold on. Screwed it up royal. Sorry. It's so nice to have to live next to blank. The noisiest business around. I like it so much better when it was just cornfields out here. Okay. Okay. So that was the complaint. The very next day. Okay, so the other day I had made a post complaining about the noise coming from X business. After checking it out further, I believe it's coming from the work being done on the two roads down the street from me. I guess they're doing road work. When I'm wrong, I admit it. Oh. <laughs> 
thanks. Um, that means somebody said, what are you talking about? We don't make noise. We're worried about the road construction noise. Yes. Um, okay, here we go. Here's another one. Brian, you might be able to help her. I'll delete this after I get an answer. Spoilers. She did not delete this <laughs> after she got an answer. Google isn't helping me. Thought maybe some thought maybe someone here would know of a place. Is there a drive through or a restaurant in, Her- in this town that I can get a, my son a corn dog at? <laughs> so when you're hankering for a corn dog. <laughs> Did she find a place? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Does the A&W do corn dogs? I'm sure they do, right? Sure. Or you could go to the grocery store and buy a frozen uh, one. She wants a drive through not a frozen one from the grocery store. I don't think I've ever store. seen of a drive through corn dog. Well, that's what's wrong Dairy with Qu- this place you live in. How about Dairy Queen? You think maybe they would? I don't think so. I don't know. Oh. And then this is this is my favorite one. Uh, the grocery store, it's a small grocery store, has no wet cat food. Ordering shortages problems. Now what do I do? <laughs> I there's, can't get my wet cat food. There's this little thing called uh, Amazon.com. <laughs> no. PetSmart.com. Nope. Fan. Feed your cat dry. Nope. Brian, that is uh, not acceptable. Buy a can of tuna. Buy a can of tuna would be good. You would think. Um, um, use your brain. Brian, what do I do? Make your cat a hamburger. Give them dry dry cat food? Right. right. Put some water in your dry food and make it soggy. There you go. I'll be honest. That cat licks itself for like three hours at a time. I don't think it really cares, to be honest with you. So that's just some of the community uh, issues that we are suffering from out here. I personally haven't really came across too many, but oh. this one caught my attention. This is in your neighborhood. This is in my neighborhood. Okay. Is anyone else noticing or even concerned about the number of dead birds around? (laughs) Birds are dying like crazy. The very first comment, damn kids and their BB guns. (laughs) 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 Uh, Well, if you guys have any suggestions on how to help any of these people out, uh, maybe a drive through corn dog, please help me. (laughs) Yeah, you know what? We should open one. A drive through corn dog? Drive through corn dog stand. I would think it would be pretty cheap, right? I would hope so. I mean, corn dogs aren't that big. I mean, you could buy a yeah. buy them in bulk from Costco, microwave them, just put them out the window. Okay, I would at least make them by... Deep fryer? Yeah, I, I wouldn't just grill a frozen one. I mean, I would still... Now, that would be fun, grilling a corn dog. <laughs> you never grill corn dogs? No. Oh, okay. You just microwave your corn dogs? Do you know who my parents are? <laughs> <laughs> Great starts breakfast, Jeff. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Baloney in the freezer for six weeks at a time. <laughs> oh, the ketchup was on it. Uh-huh. Uh, it froze. God bless her. Anyways, uh, yeah. So I think I think we could do it, Jeff. Buy them in bulk. Charge four ninety nine for a corn dog. And a bag of, like, Grippo's potato chips. I think that could work. Make about $2 in profit. Five ninety nine, two for nine ninety nine. I like it. I like it. I think it works. Uh, we'll get a customer with this lady. Yeah. I mean, at least when she'll done. be buying two because she wants one for her and her child. Correct. I mean, for that price, it's too cheap not to buy. <laughs> you know what? We just solved the world's hunger problems. Yeah. Corn dogs. Let's do it. Let's do it. Get a deep fryer. <laughs> We gotta get a commercial buy, one. Right? Buy, uh, maybe. Buy hot dogs. How about an air fryer? Do you think that would work? No. No. Probably. An air fryer works for frozen, for the frozen corn ones. Dogs. Yes. Okay. But not in like not our good quality no, c- ones because c- you're supposed to like dip it in, dip the, batter, it in the batter and, and then, then the batter fr- and then okay the batter would run in an air fryer where it would <laughs> set up more. When Correct. It's, you know, okay. Liquid. Uh, How about a crock oil? pot? No. No. <laughs> Not at all. Just let them sit. <laughs> well, we can uh, boil the hot dogs in the crock pot. Okay. Okay. <laughs> before we uh, turn them into corn dogs. Do you eat hot dogs, Jeff? Uh, very f- few. Few. Very. What's the word I'm looking Seldom. For? Seldom. Thank you. Okay. 
Seldom. Wow, such a tough word to remember. Brian, do you eat corn, uh, hot dogs? Um, I've been somewhat known as a hot dog connoisseur. Okay, so... Speedway. Oh, God. Best hot dog in town. I meant making them at home. Oh, God. God, Speedway. Well, if I'm not making them at home... Speedway. S- speedy dogs all the way. No, I do not make them at home. Okay. If I eat them, it'll be... So my grandfather would boil them in a pot. That's how my mother made yeah. them. Yeah. So I microwave mine. Oh, I would never do that. Because if I'm working from home, try and get back to work, you know, just uh, put the hot dogs in the microwave. I don't have time to boil this thing. And my wife thinks it's the oddest thing. Like, why would you microwave them? I kind of agree with her. But they're already cooked, right? Yeah, you can eat them raw. I do. And I love them raw. But I would still rather put them on the grill or at least... uh, Air fryer. Now that we have an air fryer, that's... I mean, that's the best way to go. Okay. Well, I don't have an air fryer. I was just wondering, like... Get an air fryer. I don't feel like that. I barely, It takes a lot of effort for me to get the toaster out to toast my English muffins. Fun fact, you can buy an air fryer that has a toaster. Ooh. It, that's what I got. Huh. Or instead of toasting everything, just put your bread in the air fryer. Um, with the recession coming, I'm trying to save money now. So, allegedly. allegedly. Uh, you know how much money you save when you get an air fryer? How much? Thirteen dollars a year, yes, or total a year. Oh, okay. Well, that's not bad. So in seven years, I get my money back. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, you can find a you can find a decent one, pretty cheap. Cheap. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But that you only never mind. <laughs> I'm not talking about air fryers. Ah, moving on. Anything else we got to talk about here? Anything? No, nothing. We had a poll of the week at Twitter at Bad Yeah, Ideas let's Podcast. talk about the poll of the week. That would be great, Jeff. Why don't you talk about something else while I get that uh, results up? Well, you know? the poll of the week mm-hmm. was, uh, you know, what multiverse film did you like the best? Multiverse. So, multiverse. We, we are talking, uh, I think these are all Marvel, but not necessarily MCU. Mm-hmm. But uh, our choices were uh, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Still have yet to see it. Uh, Spider-Man, No Way Home, because yeah, a lot of multiverses going in there. Yep. And Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. My pick. The animated film that is also my pick, although I didn't vote. I love that film. I think it's the best of those three. It won 43% of the vote. Wow. To 40% of the No Way Home vote, and 17% of Doctor Strange. Okay. So... Is that your order, too, that you would pick the films? Um, the two Spider-Mans and then Doctor Strange? I don't know. I was not a fan of No Way Home. Did You liked it. I, I liked it, but it just felt like it didn't have anything to say other than fan service, which, if that's what you want, I want a film that uh, I guess we don't don't have to worry about spoilers anymore. Yeah, yeah, you're fine. You know, it's like, oh, yeah, we'll bring in all the spider, all these former actors who played Spider-Man, and everyone will say, oh, this is great and fun, but overall I felt it really didn't have much to say. I like Andrew Garfield's arc in it, like from his two movies and then this one. I thought that was really good. When he saves um, MJ, Mm -hmm. I really like that. Um, But I enjoyed the film. I didn't think it was as great as everybody thought. Um, I do like that. The first three, these three films with Tom Holland, somebody explained is a whole origin story. Like, this is his whole origin story. Yeah. It all leads up to it. It's like, yeah, that makes sense. Um, his, and now he's out of high school, and now we get to re- meet the real Spider-Man. He kills for fun. Damn. Well, no one remembers who he is, so why not? He's called the Black Widow. Oh, wait, that's another character. Um, I enjoy, I, I think I'm going to have to see No Way Home again. Um, I, I I'll saw watch it, it again, and maybe it'll change my mind, and I yeah. might like it better. I also... After letting uh, uh, Doctor Strange digest, mm-hmm. uh, watch that again and see if my opinion of it changes. I think I'm going to, say to uh, have my kid, my oldest, watch WandaVision. Yeah. Because WandaVision's, I think, six or eight episodes. It wasn't much. Nine episodes. Was it nine? Oh, that's right, because they couldn't make the ten. They were going to do ten, and they didn't. Oh, okay. I just um, it was nine. I think COVID, and then they of were like, okay, let's just... Nine of... Like varying lengths, but I yeah. think they. I think it was a perfect uh, series. I really they, enjoyed they did it. everything. You know, they didn't. Nothing felt like they put it in there just to fill time. Yeah. 
and and I think everything had its place, and and I I loved how they went about doing it. I like the history of television, history of talk shows. I've talked about that before, so I really enjoyed the whole theme yeah. of it of how they did it, um, and then just visions talking about you know love persevering and all that stuff like that was amazing um so yeah and the white visions there We've got white vision white vision spoilers uh does he appear in doctor strange you want to know no not really anyways okay. uh, <laughs> um brian and i are going to see all these films this week right brian doctor strange i mean i should probably see the first one eh, it's okay. yeah, i don't know if you even need to see the first doctor strange it's a very Marvel origin type have, have film. Have you watched any of the Marvel movies that Doctor Strange was in? Nope. Okay. You never saw Endgame? Nope. Oh, okay. Still working my way to it. Okay, that's fine. Uh, my daughter and I watched Endgame. Are, are you the Iron Man 3 yet? I've already, yep. I've, okay. I've, 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 Is that Whiplash? No, that's two. Okay. Iron Man 3 was uh, Mandarin mm-hmm. or fake Mandarin. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, yeah, which was fine, but the hammer was a little rough. Was he Hammer? No. No, Hammer that was, was the uh, second one. Second too. one with the whiplash. <laughs> no, it was uh, the Extremis uh, yeah. thing with, uh, d- 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 what's Sam- his name? Was it Guy Pierce? Yes, Guy, Guy Pierce. That's it. It was not Sam Rockwell. Thor and uh, the new Thor trailer came out this, today. Oh, well, you have to check that out. Christian Bale looks unrecognizable. I um, forgot who he was even supposed to be playing. Gore the God. Uh, Somebody I don't know. Okay, cool. The God Killer. It's the God okay. Killer. He looks pretty sharp. Um,. There's hints. Does, of, does he look more like Christian Bale from The Machinist, or more like Christian Bale from uh, when he played uh, Dick Cheney? <laughs> no, not that. He looks skinny. <laughs> he looks like the white guy, the white knight, white king from Game of Thrones. The white. Who's the big bad guy that they had? The zombie guy. Oh, the, the White Walker. Yeah, there yeah, you go. The, the Night King. Yeah, Night that's king. that guy. Yeah. The White Knight King. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I never saw it. But it kind of looks like him. Uh, it looks good, though. Natalie Portman looks fun. Um, I'm interested to see where... They, I, I think somebody... Uh, Russell Crowe plays Zeus. And I, I think he... the first I heard of that. Uh, they just showed it today, and I didn't know he was in it either. I think what... I, I think he's going to get killed, because if you're going to have a god killer, he's got to make... He's got to kill some kill gods. Somebody, yeah. yeah. So they're crossing pantheons. Okay. I could see them killing Sif, too, actually. No. Or Valkyrie. No. I could see killing one of them. They're not going to kill Valkyrie. If they're going to kill one of them, it'd be Seth. Yeah. But, uh... Kind of like when they killed I- Idris Elba's character. It's like, yeah, whatever. That's fine. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. Uh, Heimdall. Uh, Heimdall. Um, but it could be even Thor dies, maybe. I could see that. Uh, kill Thor, so then the power of Thor goes to, uh... Natalie Portman's character. Yeah, Jane, Jane Foster. Because uh, So, that was kind of cool, but... Uh, the rumor, the not rumor, but what I was reading, and it, kind of, it makes sense because I keep hearing that Marvel for the last year or so, they really want to put Hercules into a film. Yeah. The Marvel version of Hercules, not the Disney, uh, which Thank is more God. accurate. But, well, the Marvel, well, he might be close. <laughs> well, which you think accurate. Disney is more accurate? <laughs> no. Disney is the least accurate of any uh, Are you of sure? Greek myth uh, story out there. I don't think so. Um. They're prob- it's probably, the Marvel version is probably, well, closer than the Disney version. Mm-hmm. But, oh, he's kind of an annoying character. Um, so, Hercules is, uh, they've been kind of having a hard on to get him in, him and the Black Knight, into the Marvel Universe. And they got the Black Knight in, yeah. or at least the character, the, you know. Yeah, well. They, they have him in it. Yeah. Dane Whitman's in it. Yeah. He's got the sword. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, uh, so they said... Killing Zeus in this one is a way to get Hercules introduced. Uh, that makes sense. And I'm sense. fine with that. I'm fine. I actually never had a problem with Hercules. Will they bring in the Percy book. Jackson in? I hope so. Oh. Actually, it's, that's on Disney Plus. Oh. They're making a new series. They are, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. I never saw Did the other Disney ones. do the other ones? I don't know. Let's check see if those are on Disney Plus. I never watched the other the things or read the books. No. Uh, that's the thing is, I know a whole lot of people that read the books that like they know. They're Greek mythology based on Percy Jackson books. How accurate is that? And I'm like, oh, it's probably better than knowing it from uh, <laughs> Disney's from Hercules. Disney's Hercules. Because 
One, the whole thing is, I still don't know why people call him Hercules, because in Greece, his name is Heracles. Hercules is the Roman version of the name. Well, look at you. I know. Yeah. Look at the big brain on bread. Uh-huh. Mr. Big Tough Guy over there, big brainy guy. Speaking of brains, we've been watching The Chase, the game show. Yes. Have you anybody watched that? Yeah, I've seen some of it. It's not I, bad. I actually, the, the, it was on Game Show Network, mm-hmm. uh, a lesser version where the prize money was less, and they had, uh, oh, now I forgot her name. The host was, like, so much better than... Than this host? Than, than, I mean, Sarah's not bad, but... The, oh, name escaping me. Now I'm going to have to look up what her name is. The, the geniuses that they're trying to beat, their yes. acting is horrible when they talk to them backstage. Like, that is so forced, and it's like, ugh. Have you just started watching it this season? Yeah, or? Oh, this is okay. our first season. We've, my daughter wanted to watch it, and so we start watching it uh, Cause, together. Because they have new uh, chasers. Okay. And I don't think I've even... I've only seen one episode with a new chaser. Um... Like, th- when they first brought this iteration out, mm-hmm. they had the Chasers were, like, the three big Jeopardy names, mm-hmm. Ken Jennings, Brad Rutter, and James Holzhauer. And then they brought in Mark LeBette, who was on the Game Show Network. He was the Chaser on the Game Show Networks and the original, one of the Chasers in the original British version. Okay. Uh, the one woman is from Beat the Geek, I think. Or something like that. Yeah. Geek trivia? Something. I'm not sure. I haven't seen I looked her up, and that's okay. why. Um, but my daughter's really into game shows. She, like, she really likes game shows. Um, Your daughter's got taste. Yeah, she likes Supermarket Sweep with uh, Leslie Jones. Well, maybe not that much taste. She can be annoying in it, but I really enjoy that show. It's a lighthearted... You're not thinking. It's fun. No. Uh, and my whole thing is, why don't you just run by the shelves and just... You're not, you're, you're limit. well, at least the you old version. You are limited on some, but not all. So I'm still like, I just thought take five it. was the most you could have of any one product. Okay. At least that's how it was in the uh, 90s. I think the Yeti oh. products, you're only allowed one of oh. each. Well, I think so. uh, and they, like, they have a specific, but I'm like, still like, just yeah. start like knocking stuff in. Like, I was just thinking about this the other day, though, to not change the subject, mm-hmm. but the supermarket sweep, mm-hmm. you know, if, if you're in it, it's like people always run after and they get like, the big turkeys and the big hams mm-hmm. and the big wheels of cheese, which are a lot of money, but you fill up your cart pretty damn quick, so you have to dump yes. it off and get a new cart. You have to find the small items that are worth maybe mm-hmm. not as much money, but if you find, you know, go to the, I don't know, wherever, razors if they have them in that supermarket. Raw or, sugar. You just Raw find, sugar. and just all the small things, you can get a heaping cart of small yeah. items. Uh, this year they get the Yeti Kohler, and then they put stuff in the Kohler. So I was like, that's a smart idea to do that. But they do still have the block of cheese, the big wheel the of big cheese. The big wheel of cheese. And there's $250. Yeah. Um, that I, takes up $250 worth of space in your cart. Bastard. Uh, Brian. Yes. Why don't you, in honor of your best friend, Blake, do some listener feedback? think we all know what that sound means. The bomb listener feedback. Yes. Sponsored by Jolly Ranchers. Mm. And new Oreos coming out. Uh, Nobody seems to be too excited about it except for me. Explain what the new Oreos are. So they are releasing 1,000 packs of these. So they're going to be exclusive. Okay. It's going to be one side Oreo. Oreo cream. Mm-hmm. Backside will be a Ritz cr- cracker. Is it a Ritz cracker or is it the cheese cracker? I think there's cheese in it. Yeah. Really? I don't. Yes. I don't know about that. I, I thought could, it was. I look just it up, Brian. It, oh, when I looked at it, I thought it was a one of those cheese and peanut butter crackers. Okay. I thought it was spinning, and I it is it was... a peanut butter cracker. Yep. Peanut butter, Ritz cracker, and a uh, Oreo cream. Oh, that's it's even better. So it's a Ritz cracker, not the cheesy crackers, because I don't like those at all. So it's like the toasted brown mm-hmm. peanut yep, okay. butter cracker, not, not just the plain like salty cracker? No, it do- actually, it looks like the salty cracker, doesn't it? That's what I thought it was, just like a plain there Ritz. There it is. Oh, okay. Just the but plain... it is peanut butter. Okay. I My first 
viewing, I thought that was, yeah. the, the Yeah, I'm in. I can't wait. Cheese well, peanut butter cracker things that they try to convince me are supposed to taste good, but they're nasty. Let me ask Oreo this. I love this. peanut butter. I like Oreos. Oreo should sponsor us. With that being said, don't fuck this up like you did with the wine. Oh, we can't ship it to your state, assholes. Well, you know? there's only a thousand of these, so... There's a limited selection on Oreo wine, and I had it in my yeah. cart, yeah. and I had it almost paid for, and they're like, sorry, we can't ship to you. Well, Bastards. well that's a that's a state of Ohio issue, not Oreo issue. Hey, down the hall issue. Now okay. let's see down if the hall. Uh, cookies and crackers are uh, <laughs> regulated the same as wine. The wine said no. Can't have the, can't have any good food come into this this state, bastards. Maybe bastards. Stephen Izzy could smuggle something in for us. That's smuggle is it really smuggling if you're just bringing it from from Utah? Yes, it is. Okay, I have nothing <laughs> <laughs> for personal use anyway. They'll be smuggling here. it to sell. They'll be that... here next month. What? So. I'm trying. Well, we'll discuss that later. Yes. Yes. I got to hmm. make sure my calendar is available. Free that day. Go ahead. Starting off with that one guy we always seem to start off with. Number one fan? Doug. Can't give seven nickname? Eight pans. Dad. Seven. He says, since you brought back plot lines last week, how about we bring back more historical segments? I like it. First up, activate. Jim, give Jeff and Jason the scenario. Well, Jim's not here. Good news is, Doug said if Jim's not here, he has a scenario. If it's a scenario I read, I want to shoot Doug. Wow. Wow. Okay, so well, I, I don't know what Activate is. So Activate is about the Wonder Twins. Okay. Uh, from the superhero friend, yes. Super Friends. Wonder Twin powers Activate. And Jeff and I would turn into something to get us out of this situation. We would each choose one of the Wonder Twin personas. Okay. Yes. And Jim would give us a situation... And we would figure out how we, if we were the Wonder Twins with their powers, would uh, deal with said situation. The okay. best part is Jim it was... It lasted a... like three times. Eh, maybe more than that. Oh. Four. Uh, <laughs> All right. This was back in the early days. Like the low, less than 100th yeah. episode. This is where we're in the teens. Uh, the best part is Jim was even on the show then. We just had him texted in. <laughs> okay. That's true. I forgot. We had him texted in. Oh, back in the old days. God. 444 episodes. <laughs> Jeez, oh, and probably 420 episodes since we last did Act Yes. Uh, so we're going with Doug. Mine, if Jim's not there, mine is a noted local podcaster is inhabited by the spirit of Meghan Markle. Yep, this Sa- is the one I want to shoot Doug over. Save him before his fellow podcasters kill him. <laughs> okay, this is going to be a tough one. What's a, are you the animal or the water? Uh, I'll let you choose. I'll be the animal. Okay. No, no, no. I'll be the water. I got a good one for that. All right. Okay. So we got to activate. Let me know when you're ready to save this podcaster that has the spirit of Meghan Markle in them. I'm Meghan. Okay. Well, under twin powers, activate. activate. Form of holy water. Shape of a giant boa constrictor. Okay. My holy water... That gets demons out, right? Sure. Well, it does an exorcist. So I'm spraying holy water on this person, this podcaster. What does a boa constrictor do? Oh, I was just going to smother the podcaster <laughs> to death. <laughs> <laughs> well, then I can give it last rites. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. We saved the day. <laughs> we saved it. I'm like, oh, you're, you're possessed by Meghan Markle. You're dead. <laughs> uh, you know what? I feel great. We did last rites and we killed uh, Meghan Markle's spirit. It's like you guys have been doing this all along. Uh, you know what? It really is. We haven't missed a beat. <laughs> nah. <laughs> that was actually one of our better ones. <laughs> if anybody would like to do another Activate, please send it in. We also have Plot Lines. We have FMK. Uh, we have, uh, what's the other segments that we used to do? Uh, draft Day. Draft day, draft day. day. Yeah, we we do haven't ha- done a good draft day in a while. Randall Holt, I'm glad you said that. Randall Holt, RJ Holt, 666. He's not evil. Just handled that way. Sent in one for next week. The greatest American hero. So there you go. From the, t- the TV, TV show? show. So we're doing draft day of that. Not a whole lot to draft. Well, that's okay. If there's five of us, it helps. Yeah. <laughs> Remember when we did uh, Firefly with seven of us? Uh... <laughs> 
I think there were just five of us. Yes, but maybe eight But, but we were drafting nine yes. people per. <laughs> 55 minutes later, we finally got done with draft day. I don't Two even know who. Two hours later. <laughs> and I don't even know who won. <laughs> <laughs> the listeners won. Oh, yeah. Always. Definitely. So, yes. All you right. got more or less. I hope you got Bad Ideas Podcast. Next up from Canadians of the Year at Canadian of the Year. Neil deGrasse Tyson tweeted that lunar eclipses are so, quote, unspectacular that if nobody told you what was happening, you probably would not notice at all. Why does he always seem to be trying to prove he's cooler than everyone else? I agree. That Um, annoys me. I'd say pretty much because he is cooler than everyone else. Is he? He is. He is. I'm kind of bored with him. but, But he's cooler than you. Well, yeah, it doesn't take much. That's very true. Man, that's true. Um, um, I mean, I mean, he's great. He he gets a lot of information out there, but he seems like a yeah. douchebag. Help me out, Brian. Yeah, I mean, I don't. Yeah, I, I mean, he's just tired of people not trusting science. Whoa, 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 whoa! Hold on. What? What? Hold on. What? Hold on. Why would you trust science? <laughs> It hasn't been in a form, and it hasn't been tested over and over in a lab in a controlled environment. I if it you, was like that, then I would trust I think you science. just described science. I'm pretty sure that's the definition of science. I'm going to get back to you on that. Let me check that up. Google. You know what? Let me go to my community uh, page. Yeah, there you go. Maybe they could help me. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm sure you can get a straight answer from <laughs> the, the community page on what is science and should I trust it? It's a title for the show. <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't really, I mean, I guess, I, I mean, I don't really care about this tweet, though. Like, that's his yeah. opinion, right? Yeah. I um, mean, He's right, though. I mean, they're not. I mean, I mean the it's... only reason I knew about it was because people were kept putting it out. Oh, there's going to be a lunar eclipse coming. And he's right. Would you even notice a lunar eclipse no. if people didn't tell you? So tell you to go out to, outside at what time to look for it. And then most of the time, there's clouds obscuring your view of it anyway. So I had five people on Facebook uh, say, oh, I couldn't see it because of the clouds. I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> like, oh, lunar eclipse. Okay, great. Yeah. Okay. I mean, uh, the solar eclipse is kind of cool because that's a lot rarer. Well, that's when heroes are born. Yes. What's or the one reborn. where you're supposed yes. to look directly at the sun? Um, the one where you're supposed to? Probably lunar. Probably. Well, you can't even see the sun. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you're supposed to look. No, but the one where, like... You, the one you're not supposed to look at. But, but most of the dumb, do. dumb dick morons do it anyway. Or former presidents. I know, Bush. I God. said dumb dick morons, so yeah. Damn it. What's that one? The one that he... No, that's the that's solar, solar eclipse. The presidents okay. or the... Any of them. <laughs> the solar eclipse. College. Oh, that asshole. William Henry Harrison. Ah, oh, fuck him. Yeah. Oh, my God, die after 30 days. <laughs> what are you, a fucking vampire? Moving on. <laughs> I got a cold. <laughs> well, it's not like he's from southwest Ohio. Or nah, something. fuck him. I got a cold. Put a jacket on. Worsley should have taught you that. Uh, he was before Worsley. He should have taught Worsley that. <laughs> <laughs> so are you putting William Henry Harrison on our list for Worsley nominees this year? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Put it on the board. <laughs> We're very timely on this show. <laughs> I mean, we, we we this is a history podcast. <laughs> what is science? That's I don't, I don't know. And should I trust it? <laughs> All right, moving on from the superior superiority. Co- I'm sorry. What was that? <laughs> it's not so God. easy, is it, asshole? <laughs> All right. <laughs> From Superiority Complex Podcast. Easy for you to say. (laughs) Who's your favorite character actor? My answer for that one is Stanley Tucci. I will second that. Oh, steal my idea. I am. Come up with your own. I like that one, though. He's a very good one. Uh, He's great in every role he's in, and he usually only picks great roles. What about Christopher Walken? Is he a character actor? 
Well, he does characters. <laughs> <laughs> he's, t- he's typically but, not the lead character. or He's like a co-lead. But, but he's yeah. also always Christopher For Walken. Walken. Like, whatever character he plays is the embodiment of Christopher Walken. Who yeah. are? No, that's the wrong that's, one. <laughs> that's <laughs> not that's him. Saying, that's yeah, Al like, Pacino. Nope. nope. Um, I'm just looking at some of them. Um, Googling best character. Yeah, uh, I'll give these guys some options. Margot Martindale, oh. Stephen Root. Stephen oh, Root's a good pop. Yeah, he's Luis Guzman. Yeah. Uh, Stephen Tobolowski from oh, um, uh, Ned that, from Ned Ryerson. Yep. Steve Buscemi. Yeah, that's Danny, a good one. Danny Trejo. I don't think this guy is anymore. I think he's got elevated to the main actor. J.K. Simmons. I don't uh, think so. Yeah, oh. J.K. Simmons definitely would have been. Eh, I could. I I would allow if someone wanted to say J.K. Simmons. Forget it. I got mine. Seriously, William Fichtner. 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 Love him and go. Is there an N in his name? F I C H T N E R. Fichtner. 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 I. Fichtner. It's C H T N. F I C H T N E R. Wow. Fichtner. Uh, Gar- uh, Gary Oldman's not that. Um, Judy Greer. <laughs> David Paymer. David Paymer is definitely a character actor. Or I guess Who? The, the the term that I, is a that guy actor where you're like, I see him everywhere. I don't know his name or I can't remember what else I saw him in, but he's always there. How did we forget about this guy? He he was the journalist in Daredevil. Joe Pontiot Pontellino? Joey Pants? Yeah, Joey Pants. Um the good Daredevil film. He was great in Keith Bad David. Boys. Ooh, yeah. he was uh, Keith David. He was uh, Keith David is a great one. You're right. Oh wait, or is it David Keith? Keith, Keith David. Oh, <laughs> here's another great one. Gary Cole. I do love Gary Cole. Yeah, Gary Cole might be one that I think stepped out of that. You think? I, if J.K. Simmons did, I think Gary Cole did. Okay. I could be wrong, but he's one of the hundred most one in top one hundred most sought after character actors in Hollywood. Okay. So, hmm. there you go. Brian, you got anybody? Uh, I'll say... Oliver Platt. That's a good one, too. That's a good one. I like him. Yeah. He was great in the West Wing. He was fantastic in the West Wing. He was great in the Three Musketeers. He w- I liked that movie back in the day. Probably haven't what seen it in 30 years. What is the <laughs> McConaughey movie? Oh, um... Time it's to not, kill. Time to kill. Yes, he was. Oh, okay. Yeah, he was really good in that. Yes, I every, I can't watch that movie anymore because when Matthew McConaughey goes now, picture them uh, yeah. white or picture them black or whatever, and I can't get over it because now Michael Scott every time he does that when he did it in the office, oh. and it's like yeah. that doesn't work, Michael. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I just thought you couldn't watch it anymore because every time you. See Matthew McConaughey, you picture him going, all right, all right, all right. No, that's Sandra Bullock in it, my future ex-wife. Mm. It's a very good cast in that movie. It is. Kiefer Sutherland. Samuel L. Jackson. Samuel L. Jackson, yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, moving on here from Steve at E-I-L-F-M. Everything I learned from movies. Steve would like to know, what alcoholic beverage do you start the night out with? Ooh. Beer. What type? Uh, if I'm getting more specific than beer, it would be a nice uh, half of ice. Okay. Okay. Right now, since summer's coming up, uh, we're big in this household in Sam Adams. Uh, we have a... The summer ale? Summer ale, porch rocker is really good. The porch, porch rocker is our favorite. Good. Yeah. Um, it's funny. My wife went to the grocery store today, and like we, we haven't gone out a while until so, like, she came back, and like we, ha- we have tons of Sam Adams in the fridge. She got another 12-pack. <laughs> so it's like, okay. I guess we're in the summer mode now. Why well, am I drinking water? <laughs> it's a good call. It's up there. <laughs> right? They have a citrus one this year, too. Like a new citrus one. Well, they usually have one every summer, I yeah, guess. Yeah, it's a different one this year. Yeah. Looked, I don't know what it is. We haven't tried it. We just got it today. Uh, but yeah, Porch Rocker is a good one. Or Truly. I do like a Truly. The, I, like uh, the, I was going to say cider. That's not a cider. It's a seltzer. Yeah. yeah. My wife would say Moscow Mules. She likes those. She likes those. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, Brian, anything? What you got? Uh, depends on how I want my night to go. Okay. You so want you your just... night to be good. Like, do I want to remember it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You want to remember it. 
but lay it low key. Um, then I'll I'll probably just have some bourbon. Okay. Like I just right. I I can start and let me give you an ma- example of the night with that. You want to remember it. You're going to go get a couple of al- alcoholic drinks at at Dana Gardens. Great bar. You're going to go see a Frankie production film. Come back to the bar and just kind of finish up and hang out with friends. You're going to start with bourbon. So I'm going to the bar. Going to the bar pre-movie. Then, then pre Frankie the Productions. Then seeing the movie. Mm-hmm. Then coming back to the bar. Yeah, like to... you've never done that before. Is there dinner at the bar on his first drink, or is he going to dinner after his first drink? Probably dinner after. Okay, so the bar, dinner, movie, then back to the bar. It's a big night. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired just thinking. It sounds of it. exhausting. It does. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> sounds like a lot of people are involved. I'll be honest, I don't think I could make the movie. <laughs> yeah. Did we just get pota- uh, potato skins? Yeah, I'm out. I'm going to bed <laughs> after this. <laughs> got pota- yeah, uh, I mean, it's it's either... Uh, so it's summer, so I'll say... What is the Great Lakes new summer... Um, summer ale? Crushworthy. Oh. Uh, Great oh. Lakes has a it's it's been out for like a year or two so I would okay. s- we'll say I'll start off with that okay and then throw in some Jaeger okay then end with some bourbon okay I like that that's true I think uh, they like to do uh, before the softball games crush worthies yeah that's okay. that that's their uh, pregame for this before softball yep. it is a it is a nice. Uh, Nice treat after a hot day of cutting the grass. Okay. What else we got, Brian? Uh, wrapping it up from Professor Number One at Doctor Number One. Can you guys do a podcast episode of just old segments? Maybe even include boardroom. I don't know if we can. Does he want old segments of like us just to put them in like a clip show? Oh, it's we, another clip we've show. We've already done that. Yeah. Or, not a long time, though. No, it, it has been, but... Uh, I think it was last time was when my kid was born five years ago. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I remember doing one uh, for uh, yeah. the new year, because we were taking the month of December off. So yeah. Put one together um, for the new year. I don't know, because I read you the question as it was asked. I have no further details. I think we could do an episode, like, maybe 450 or 500 of just, like, bringing back old segments and us... You know, making new things. New, new things uh, yeah. from old segments. I've, well, one, if, I've, if you have, I don't even remember what boardroom exactly was other than it failed miserably. You took a movie or an idea and you had to make a movie around it. I can't be sure about that. All right, this. so <laughs> how, roughly how many uh, old segments would you say that there are? Uh, probably about 10. 10 to 15. Oh, do we have 15? No, maybe 10. Maybe 10. FMK, I think I did that, sorry. No, FMK, Draft no Day, one. Plot Lines. Um, we had Riddle Activate, me Riddle Me This, Google Word Google Word oh, of the Week. no, never bring that one back. Oh, yeah, Google Word of the Week. <laughs> uh, let's see, what else? Boardroom. Face Off. Face Off. Face Off. Yeah, yeah look at that. That's uh, just uh, more but, I can... But we, they would probably want to have a damn on Megan segment. Uh, no. no, no, I retired it. I retired it. So I was just I was just saying we you know we could pick like from four ninety to five hundred mm-hmm. we could do a different one every week leading there up to go. episode five hundred. Oh, I don't mind that. I like it. Remember that. Remember Write that. that down. Write that down. So in three years, <laughs> we will remember. So that's we're one year. Fifty six episodes away. Yeah, that's almost one year. Oh yeah. So this time it's next fifty two weeks in a year. We'll be getting ready to remember this. Okay. I got it no. down. I wrote it down. No, let's see. So we would need to get to 490. Mm-hmm. So that would be... 46 f- episodes. 46 episodes. Yeah, let's so. say a year. We got yeah. this. So April, when we're just getting back into studios from Monkey Pox, we'll be great. <laughs> and then we'll forget all about it, and then we'll say, damn, we should have been... All year long, we should have been uh, researching and planning this out. I'm just saying, now a good Canadian throw it together. A good Canadian of the year will remember this. Just saying, good Canadian of the year will let us know yep. all our old segments. Yep, yep, yep. Just saying. All uh, that. I mean, that's it. That's it. That's all I got. Uh, Jeff, can you give me some news of the geek music? News of the geek. 
news of the geek. Today we'll tell you the news of the geek. Is that per, good? Yeah. Okay. Per deadline, where Jim gets off his news, Austin St. John, who played the Red Power Ranger on the show, which aired from 93 to 95, has been charged with others, along with others, in a scheme to defraud the U.S. Government of CARES Act funds. The Department of Justice alleges St. John was one of 18 charged with filing fraudulent applications for loans from the Paycheck Protection Program. Then they ele- they then allegedly transferred the money to the scheme's ringleaders. This guy wasn't even a ringleader? Nope, he was just a patsy. St. John, this is the biggest shocker, Brian. That's not his real name. What? Yeah. I didn't know that until I read this. His real name is Jason Geiger. Which is funny because Jason was the name of the character he played on the Power Rangers. And last name was Geiger in the show, too. That's No, weird. it oh, wasn't. It no. was Jason Lee Scott. Oh. Allegedly obtained more than 400000 fraudulent PPP loans. <clears throat> Faces a p- potential sentence of up to 20 years, according to the DOG. DOJ. <laughs> The DOG, according to Snoop. <laughs> Where's my money, motherfucker? Uh, that was my Snoop. Uh, the Justice Terrible De- Snoop. <laughs> the Justice Department named Michael Hill and Andrew Moron as the alleged leaders Moran. of the scheme. Moron. Quote, Hill is alleged to have recruited co-conspirators to use an, ex- use an existing business or create a business to submit applications to obtain the funding, according to the Justice Department release. Once enlisted, the Moron is alleged to have assisted his co-conspirators with the application paperwork, including fabricating supporting docs, documentation, and submitting the application through the online portals. Uh, the combined total of the defendants allegedly obtained from the government came to $3.5 million. Jesus Christ. Yeah. And St. John got 400000 out of that. Okay. Uh, that's at least... 20, <laughs> at least 55 expo uh, conventions, right? <laughs> Um, in a state, statement, St. John's lawyer said he pleaded not guilty. Quote, an indictment is not evidence of guilt. Well, thank you, David Clot, a lawyer representing St. John. Quote, all defendants are presumed innocent. Mr. St. John intends to vigorously defend himself against this allegation. Yes, we all know the rule. St. John, age 47, has appeared in various Power Ranger shows over the years, including a guest spot in the 2020 TV show Power Rangers Beast Morphers. It's a horrible yes. name. <laughs> Beast Morphers. <laughs> Austin St. John was at last year's uh, Cincinnati Comic Expo. You met him. I did. I shared did an he... elevator with him. Oh, yeah. He walked him uh, to the thing. Did he tip you some PPP loan money? Uh, he he did not. Oh. No, did no. he ask you to join his? <laughs> uh, I will say I did. Uh, I was there for the panel, and I enjoyed his panel. Mm-hmm. He told some fun stories, you know. Some behind-the-scenes Power Ranger thing. This one time when I was defrauding the cover. I mean, I can't talk about that. <laughs> he didn't tell that story. <laughs> hey, he's innocent until proven guilty. And they even uh, talked about, you know, getting the original Power Rangers back. Like, what would it take or whatever? And $400,000. That's a very specific money, Mr. St. John. Why do you say it? No reason. <laughs> but... Uh, he gave a uh, storyline that he thinks would be an interesting way to go, <laughs> and I was intrigued. One of the Power Rangers is arrested for front of the government. Now, that was so not they have in the to st- come back together. Now, that was not in the storyline. <laughs> How'd you build this base, Johnny? Well, the government gave me money, and I built a Power Rangers base. <laughs> Uh, Are we sure that that wasn't how Space Space Force got made? <laughs> somebody, He's part of Space Force? Is that what we're saying? Somebody, somebody look into Steve Carell. <laughs> <laughs> talking the TV show real. <laughs> Power Rangers government defraudulators. Power, <laughs> Power Rangers Space Forcers and Marfors. <laughs> I think everything, every title for a sci-fi show now have morphers in it. <laughs> it's kind of like when, uh, what's that studio that makes the off-brand movies? Like when Transformers comes out, it's a oh, Transmorphers. Yeah, I can't remember the name of that. But I, I feel like this is the same thing, right? <laughs> no, that was probably an official Power Ranger uh, That's true, product. that is true. Anyway... <laughs> We wish Mr. St. John all the best luck in the world. Anyways. Uh, I guess we might not be seeing him in September. 
<laughs> or you might, depending on how this shakes out. <laughs> he might need money. <sighs> Anyways, I want to be there for that panel. Can I do that interview? <laughs> yeah. He he did, he wasn't interviewed. He just uh, oh, it's happening now. <laughs> <laughs> he gave a talk and took questions from the audience. Mr. St. John, I, I just want to ask you, if you happen to run across $400,000, what would you do with it? <laughs> Things might get weird in the green room, guys. <laughs> but then there's only a few passes. Anyways. Yeah, Justin. Uh, per the Daily Mail, where Jeff gets all of his news from, a Kansas police department delved into current events when a woman was caught defecating on beauty store products. Police in Wichita, of course, released photos of a woman who they believe destroyed eight different wigs. Why, of course. (laughs) (laughs) Well, the story only makes sense in Wichita. No other other place in Kansas. No, no, no. I would assume this was Florida woman. Yeah, (laughs) right. Uh, Destroyed eight different wigs through her actions at the store on May 10th. Authorities say the woman defecated in the middle of the aisle at Mid-K Beauty Supply, where the wigs were located. The Wichita Police Department said the woman entered a beauty supply store on May... T- that's what we just said. Police say the defecation was significant enough that eight wigs were destroyed as a result, adding that the owner wants to identify the pooperator, which Poop- is also... Poopatrator? Poopatrator. Coming this fall, Power Rangers Poopatrator. In order to pursue criminal charges. <laughs> Morphin Poopatrator. <laughs> My bad. The incident was caught on the beauty store surveillance camera, but this is the best part. Wichita cops said, quote, for the good of all of you, we're not posting the footage of the offending fecal assault. The fecal assault. Fecal assault. In the comments section of the department's Facebook post on the case. Oh, great. Because t- <laughs> <laughs> that's what we need. We need to know Facebook's <laughs> take on it. <laughs> Fuck off. One person wrote. Okay, we're going to get a corn dog. <laughs> Damn it, you troll my truck. I was going to say, they have no wet cat food at this place. Hey, you see all them dead birds? <laughs> we already confirmed this is not Amber Heard, so please stop calling and emailing that information. Ha ha, Wichita. The police were referencing... Yeah, we don't know the care. Yeah. Authorities did not release the woman's name, but said Tuesday they have confirmed the identity of the public enemy number two. I love that part. That's the best <laughs> part of the article. Who does number two work for? Public enemy number two. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, the Mid Cape Beauty Supply Store on, is on East Twenty First Street. If anybody would like to go visit them, on <laughs> if anybody wants defecated on wig, <laughs> that's I mean, a lot of defecation, right? That's a lot of fecal matter, right? I Eight mean, wigs, yeah. Now, did she wipe? Yeah, I the just wigs? Want, did she like set them up along the, <laughs> and then <laughs> walk just over all of them? Yeah, I mean. <laughs> I mean, you know what? I thought it was bad when I had the urinator at Walmart right next to me in in the windshield wiper. What? Yeah, this happened to me. Okay. I was at uh, one of the Walmarts in Cincinnati. Yeah. I needed some windshield wipers, some windshield wiper fluid. So I'm in that whole, like, that whole auto aisle by myself. Which is the horniest aisle in Walmart. <laughs> Obviously. Uh, doing my thing, looking, trying to... I had to go to the book to figure out what size wipers I needed. Guy comes around the corner, walks behind me. He's about 10 feet from me. Just starts pissing on the floor. Well, at least he didn't piss into the bottles. Like, Duh. just... And I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> He's like, I couldn't make it to the bathroom. And I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> like, God. I mean, I if you, I mean, I get it. If you're gonna shit yourself, you're you're just gonna do it, right? But like, like you do it to yourself, right? Not, not to like the aisle. The, not on the floor. And then like he doesn't. He just finishes it. Just walks on. People don't like, get paid enough to clean that shit up. Literally, <laughs> like nobody's around, and I'm like, did I really? Just did that just happen? And then you gotta get out of the aisle because they're going to think you did it, right? So yeah, you're I like, didn't get any windshield wipers. I was gonna say, I'm not getting wipers today. <laughs> the best part was, I get up to the front. I tell the lady up front, I'm like, "Hey, guy back in auto parts, kind of, you know, pissed on the floor." She's like, "Oh, again, okay." <laughs> and I'm like, "Do you want to tell somebody?" She's like, "Oh yeah, I'll tell the manager." I'm like, "All right." Manager comes by. She's like, hey, somebody peed on the floor. 
she's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, hey, it was that guy right there. Because he was like walking by. And she goes, who, that guy? I'm like, yeah. She's like, okay. <laughs> Like, what the fuck is happening right now? This is probably, like, eight years ago. Was it carpet or, like, the... No, it was just, like, the... Oh, the, the, it, it would just seep under the aisle. They'll be fine. I'm just like... <laughs> why is this not a bigger deal to people? Well, I mean, I'll be honest. My puppy goes out in the backyard and pees on the patio now sometimes. So, I mean, it's the same thing, right? No. <laughs> is it? Not even close. You sure? Skittles, get out there. Pee. What? Like, I don't know. It... Are you trying to say that the world is fucked? For a long, long, long time. Does Walmart have wet cat food? Uh, That day they did. (laughs) Everything in Walmart was wet that day. (laughs) Uh, Let's see here. And then finally, poor Kotaku, where... Kotaku? Whatever. Where Brian gets his video game news from. Genius Brands International and POW! Entertainment have signed a 20-year deal with Marvel to bring Stanley back into the MCU and beyond, according to the Hollywood Reporter. The comics legend passed away in 2018. His last in-person cameos were in 2019 for Captain America, where he was That's dig- just Captain Marvel. Whatever, Captain Marvel, where he was digitally re- de-aged to fit the 90s setting and Avengers co- colon Endgame. This new licensing deal, however, it seems like that might not be the last time we see Lee on screen. So what can Marvel do with Stanley now? It can use Stanley's name and likeness in feature films, TV productions, at theme parks and experiences, for example, a cruise line, and in merchandising. It can use digital technologies and archival footage to imitate Lee's likeness. Lee can appear as a toy on stationery, apparel, and video games and virtual reality. So, everything. Marvel can replicate, recreate, or use recordings of Lee's voice. It can continue to use Lee's signature. Uh, technically, this is so it can write bad checks and get PPP loans with Lee. Nice. Lee Center. Uh, technically, the studio can place Lee in films, much like Star Wars stars Carrie Fisher and Peter Cushing were digitally placed in Rogue One. Uh, while there is a bill to recreate Lee for the screen, a source to- told Hollywood reported that, quote, this new deal does not necessarily pave the way for the return of Lee cameos in movies. Andy Haywood, the chairman and CEO of Genius Brands, has said, Quote, there needed to be a steward of his legacy. And damn it, we're going to be there to get the money. Yeah. After the complicated reveal of Lee's conflicts immediately after his death. Quote, the audience uh, revered Stan, and if it's done with taste and class and respectful of who he was, it will be welcome, said Haywood. He is a beloved personality, and long after you and I are gone, he will remain in the essence. Remain the essence of Marvel. The problem I would have with that deal is vultures like uh, Wow and uh, what was the other one? Or pow, yeah. and genius brands, and genius brands are making money off of uh, uh, somebody who they just pretty much, you know, took advantage of at the last years yeah. of his life. And coming to the cereal aisles next year, Stan Leo's. Get them now, Stan Leo's. <laughs> oh man, I want some Stan Leo's. <laughs> I think it could work. Uh, it's a weird thing. I don't know about it. I don't want him in movies anymore. No, I mean, while he was alive, that's great, I think. I mean, I get it for, like, amusement parks, right? Like, introducing you to, like, yeah. when you're walking up to a ride, and I'm, like a Marvel ride. Things, but, yeah. I'm not going to lie, a Stanley-themed cruise would be pretty fucking cool. That'd be kind of weird, though, right? Just holograms <laughs> everywhere? No, I mean, like, hey, true believers! <laughs> <laughs> no, but, like, a whole themed ship of, yeah. like, of the... His whole creations. creations would be pretty cool. Yeah. Barbed wire. Got to put that in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, maybe they'll have uh, a, an area on the cruise dedicated to his uh, NHL uh, crossover. There. Oh, I like that. The Oilers. <laughs> uh, that flopped miserably. Yes, it did. So did barbed wire. <laughs> they made a cartoon out of it. Uh, and a movie. Yeah, I don't know. I don't need him in movies anymore. I don't. I, I think it's weird. I don't need to see it anymore. Uh, great guy. I mean, great legacy. I don't need him popping up in a Marvel film. So unless unless he's a superhero, he could be the Watcher. He's been the Watcher. Yeah, just have him be the Watcher. That's all you need. I'm fine with that. Uh, Jeff, you got some box office news? Give World Report. Music. Do, 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 do. We got the box office news and world report. Do, 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 do. I asked for that. I'm sorry. Yep. Uh, coming in number one for the uh, f- fourth straight week. Yeah. 
Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, another thirty-two million. Total three hundred forty-two million on a budget of two hundred million. Uh, people are complaining. The people. No, uh huh. In the <laughs> no. People are complaining in the basement. Uh, this is not doing as well as Spider Man No Way Home. Uh, I don't understand it. It will not make the eight hundred million that it was supposed to. And I'm like, it's Doctor Strange. It's not going to make that much money. Who are these people complaining? People on Twitter. Not the actual studio. No, no. Studio is very happy. Uh, uh, number two, Downton Abbey colon a new era. It made sixteen million in its opening weekend on a forty million dollar budget. Brian, no, fuck this movie. No, thank you. I had zero, nothing. No, no. I wouldn't M F or well, I could probably K it. Yeah, uh, it's up to fifty two million worldwide. People overseas liked it. Because they like those Abbeys. Yeah. Uh, the bad guys, hey. strong at number three, 6.1 hey, million. Total of 74.5 million on a $69 million budget. Nice. Uh, almost 200 million worldwide. They're extremely pleased with this. Uh, they should be. Uh, my daughter watched this again at a sleepover uh, birthday party this weekend. She saw it once with us in theaters. Yeah. And uh, they were at the party, and all the girls rented it. They, that's the one they wanted to see, so... People have liked it. So there you go. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 coming in strong in fourth place with $4 million, a total of $181 million on a $90 million budget. Even more impressive, it's on Paramount Plus now. That's very more impressive. Yeah. Yeah. That My son was, uh, youngest son was watching a little bit of it tonight. Wow. Good for Sonic. $4 million and it's even streaming. Wow. I want the Altered Beast film now. Let's do that. Okay. Next. That would be an interesting. Yeah. yeah. Interesting movie. Let's do it. Trademark. Uh, coming in at number five, Man, man made three point three million in man. its opening weekend on an unknown budget. Mainly men. men we didn't men, even talk men. about men. No. Uh, what is coming up though? Upcoming for May seventh, two thousand and twenty-two, we have Top Gun Maverick. I am so excited for this. Fuck. You this sound. Movie. No, I'm. I'm okay. You're... I'm. Serious. I'm, Serious. I'm so excited for you this. You sounded sarcastic. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not being sarcastic. I cannot wait to see I'd this. rather watch a guy pee in, on the floor at Walmart than watch this We film. can arrange that. My God, this movie. Fuck this movie. I, the I only thing about care. this that I read that really irritated me was prior to filming, um, they had hired... Um, one of the members of 21 Pilots. Okay. The lead singer. Uh, to be a pilot? No. To oh. write... He was he was hired to write music. Oh, okay. The soundtrack. Oh, gotcha. And then COVID, uh, everything shut down. So they, they went to start back up. And, like, they gave him a date. Like, said, like, we're, you know, do this. Tom Cruise comes back in, fires everybody, and starts all over. Oh, really? Yeah. So, like, he didn't even get to write any music. Like, yeah. it was just, like, everybody that they had lined up prior to the stoppage mm -hmm. got let go. So, I, that's kind of shitty. But This has been in development for three years now, four oh, yeah. years. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, it's been pushed back three times, I think, now. Yeah. Because um, it was supposed to come out in December of 2021, uh, this past December, and they pushed it back again. I thought it was supposed to be... Well, it was before that, that, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it was summer, too, I think. Uh, July of last year. And then they pushed it back. I think it was actually 2020, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, I, I thought at least they were talking December of 2020. That might have been it. Like, I think when... Like, uh... When, uh... All the things, well, what came out, the, the like the Bond movie mm -hmm. was about to be, I yeah. think they were supposed to be at Christmas time at that, yeah. in 2020, and then they kept pushing them back because the uh, theaters were not fully open, even though they had some of them, and Tenet did not do the business that no. they thought it should. Um, John Hamm is in this? Yeah. Uh, Miles Teller yeah. plays... Um, Goose's son? Yes. Oh, Which, really? Yeah. And, like, just from the trailer, like, he's, like, I mean, he looks the part, that like, dead on. He looks like Anthony, Anthony Edwards. Edwards. Jennifer, um, Jennifer Connelly's in it. Oh. Uh, it's expected to make $100 million this weekend. 
That's a pretty big number for a for non-Marvel a, film. For a 36-year-old sequel. Yeah. Ed um, Harris is in it. Oh. Ed Harris is good. Yeah, he is. Good character. He, he'd be up there on my character yep. actor list. Just for The Rock. No. Walk that knocks rock. him down a little. What else we got? Um, uh, and did we talk about this one last week? Was we it sure supposed did. to come out this week? It was a mistake by the intern. Oh. It wasn't uh, me. Uh, it must have been a turn fax machine again. Yeah. Must have uh, been. Bob's Burgers, which we talked about yep. last week. Uh, they said $8 million is what they're expecting for this. So. Okay. $100 million to eight. Yeah. Uh, I'm guessing everything is just going to get pushed down in the box office. Doctor Strange will be number two next week. Yeah. And uh, Bad Guys will be number three again. Yep. And speaking of Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. I'm 5'7". Uh, he had You're top five. Tall, huh? Yeah, top five this week. Favorite Tom Cruise films. Bum, bum, bum. So, Brian, I will let you go first. Uh, favorite top five Tom Cruise films. Number five, Valkyrie. Oh, is that the um, killing of Hitler? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yes. Was he a Nazi in that? Well, uh, he was. Well, he tried to assassinate uh, uh, yeah. him. Yes. He was a, well, God, I don't want to say that phrase, good Nazi. Right. But he was somebody who realized, uh, I I shouldn't say that. I haven't actually watched <laughs> the movie. I'm just familiar with the plot. Yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, Jeff, number five. Uh, number five for me is uh, Mission Impossible 3. Okay. The one with uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman doing his best bad guy. Is that when they jumped off the motorcycles? No. No. <laughs> That was when he dangled him out of the plane to try to get him to talk. Uh, number five for me, I like the film, but there's a lot I don't like about it. But it's still, I don't like. I don't really care for a lot of Tom Cruise films, so I'll oh. preference that. <laughs> Tropic Thunder, number five. Jack Black annoys the hell out of me in that film. Honestly, Danny McBride annoys the hell out of me in that film. Danny McBride annoys the hell out of me in most things. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, I, a lot of people rave about, you know, Tom, I'm like, Tom Cruise had a bit role where, okay, he put on a fat suit and was an asshole. I mean, I get it. He's it was playing just, against type. But yeah. it wasn't the role. Like, yeah. he's in it, so I'll get, you know. Right. You'll count it as a yeah. Tom Cruise movie. And I don't think his movies are bad, but I haven't seen a lot of Tom Cruise films because I don't go out of my way to see yeah. them. There's probably a half a dozen films on here that I think I've heard good things about and would probably enjoy if yes. I watched, to, like Valkyrie. To be fair, he doesn't have a whole lot of credits in the last 15 years. No. He's got 49 films Th- to right. his name. And like 15 of those were in the 80s. Yeah. <laughs> and Three things- of them in 1983. Exactly. <laughs> like... Uh, speaking of that, All the Right Moves is that's my your, number, four. That's your number four. I really enjoy that film. It's very 80s cheese right now if you watch it again. But I really enjoyed that film. I like the film because, or the parts of the film I like is because uh, a young Leah Thompson. Mm, yeah. Yep. And you see uh, his penis. Yeah, that's why I like the film. So let you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I wasn't spoiled. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I don't know. Uh, number four? Uh, number four for me is uh, Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol. Which one is that? Uh, that was the uh, first one with Jeremy Renner. Okay. Uh, the most famous scene uh, mm-hmm. on the outside of the Burj Khalifa. Is he still in the series? He was not in the... Last one? The, yeah, the sixth one. I don't know if he's coming back for the new one coming out. There's two new ones coming out, back to back. Well, I don't know if he's in those or not, but I'm pretty sure he was not in the one with uh, uh, Fallout with uh, Henry Cavill. Was in that okay. okay. Uh, number th- four for you, Brian. Uh, number four for me, Collateral. Oh, uh, Jamie Foxx. Jamie Foxx. I have that as an honorable mention. I would like to watch that. It was a very good movie. You haven't seen it? Oh, wow. I haven't seen a lot of it. Well, I'm just saying, like, I know I saw that when I was screening at the theater, and I thought... I think that was one of the few ones I missed with you. Okay. Uh, Number three. Number three for me, Rock of Ages. Oh, I have seen that one. I have not seen it. I don't know if I would like it, though. Uh, It's fine. I I don't mind it. It wasn't anything... I enjoyed it. Okay. But I also... There's, like, ten movies that I figured everybody's going to pick. Yeah. So I went to the next... Tier of his movies that 
I enjoyed. Okay. Because there are some that I thought were just terrible. 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 Uh, number three? Uh, number three for me is The Color of Money. Oh, Paul Newman. Paul Newman. Uh, what is The Color of Money? Green. Oh. Okay. Uh, for U.S. anyway. It's okay. green. Gotcha. But, uh, yeah, a uh, good uh, uh, continuation of the uh, Hustler story, but uh, Paul Newman grooming a young Tom Cruise, and I think it was one of the Tom Cruise breakouts that he can be more than just the punk kid that mm-hmm. he's been playing up until then. And he started out this character as the punk kid. My number three, kind of like this, a little bit around that time, he's got breaking out the firm. Really enjoyed that film. Um, plays a law, uh, a new attorney's young, office, young lawyer. Yeah, and realizes there are a little bit of uh, shadiness. Yeah, the first big John Grisham hit. Yep. Uh, I didn't dislike the movie, but it just didn't do anything for me. Okay. Number two, uh, a really great film. It was a little long, uh, which I think dragged down some of it. Magnolia. <laughs> Love Magnolia. Got that as an honorable mention. Love Magnolia. I had no idea what it was going into it. I had no idea what it was halfway through it. Uh, <laughs> uh, three quarters of the way, I still don't know. Uh, but the ending was great. <laughs> uh, so Magnolia. Number two, Jeff? Uh, number two for me was uh, Mission Impossible, the first one. Okay. You do like that series. I do, and the first one is the best one. Okay. So as a hint, my number one is not a Mission Impossible movie. Okay. Number two, Brian? Uh, number two for me, I hobie this one. Mm-hmm. Uh, a few good men and born on the Fourth of July. One of those is my number one. Okay, what's your number one, Brian? Uh, number one for me would probably be Rain Man. Oh, yeah, Cincinnati. Yep. filmed. I, I've got Rain Man as an honorable mention. Okay, what's your number one, Jeff? My number one is A Few Good Men. Okay, that movie sh- is a Shawshank for me. Yep, gotcha. Anytime it's on. Watch it to the end again. Yep. Um, and recite along as it's going. Jack Nicholson, great role in it. You um, can't handle the truth. Was that Demi Moore? Demi Moore, Demi yep. Moore yeah. Kevin Pollack. Kevin oh, Pollack. Yeah. Character actor. Kiefer Sutherland. Kiefer Sutherland. Kevin Bacon. Kevin oh, Bacon. How about Kiefer Sutherland? Cuba Gooding Jr. had a bit role. Noah Wiley Show had a me bit the role. Money. Xander Berkeley was in it. Uh, my number one <sighs> people hate it or they love it. And I really enjoyed it. And of his, like, of watching them again, I, I like watching it. Uh, Last Samurai. I really do. And I get the complaints with it. I've never get the, seen it. I've seen it. And I enjoyed it. I mean. I, I did, too. Like, I, for his films, I'm not a huge Tom Cruise fan. I don't think he's bad actor or anything like that. I just, most of his films I don't get into. Uh, War of the Worlds, horrible. Yeah, terrible. Um, Even though one of our listeners put it on their list. Well, we'll get to that. <laughs> Sean Coon. Pittsburgh oh, I was going to read my honorable mention. Well, hold on. Oh, we're going to... Okay. Yeah, let's see if they have... Let's, let's see, see if they have them. Okay. Top Gun. Mission Impossible series. I'm hobying that shit. Not me. I put them in different ones. And because Mission Impossible 2 was garbage. That was... Motorcycles. Motorcycles. And uh, that would bring the entire series... Off my list, probably. Is if number I had two, to include two. Directed by John Woo? John Woo, yeah. Yeah. Was there doves? <laughs> there was. <laughs> there was. Uh, number two, Risky Business. And number one, All the Right Moves. Oh, because it takes place. He likes that, that, that Pittsburgh football movie. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Chris Richardson. Good day, mate. Good day. Uh, Mission Impossible 3, mainly because of Philip Seymour Hoffman. I can agree with him on that. Number four, The Last Samurai. Number three, Edge of Tomorrow. I've always wanted to see that. That's one that I heard great things about, but have yet to see. Uh, Valkyrie and Few Good Men. Justin Wood. Oh, Justin. Hello, Justin. It's been a while. It has been. It's been a while. Uh, Vanilla Sky. Uh, Rain Man. The Outsiders. I forgot about that. Tropic I... Thunder and Jerry Maguire. Show me the money. He's good in Jerry Maguire. But... Yeah, he's good. Uh, too much of a love story. Not uh, enough of a sports movie for me. Yeah. Yeah. Number uh, Teddy Peterson. A- and I think I just want to kick that little kid in the head. Don't. <laughs> he will kick your ass. Yes, he will. <laughs> uh, Teddy Peterson had number five, Minority Report. I forgot about that one. Yeah. Uh, Mission Impossible series. He hobied it. Uh, Rain Man, mm-hmm. Top Gun, and Interview with the Vampire. That was my last honorable mention, Interview with the Vampire. Honorable mentions, Legend. 
Cocktail and Days of Thunder. I was expecting Dick a Trickle. lot more legend. Two of those two of those were honorable mentions for me. I bet if Blake were here, he'd have legend on his list. Oh, it wasn't Dick Trickle. What was his name? Cole <laughs> That's a real Trickle. Yeah, Cole there you there you go. Dick Trickle is the actual real yes, NASCAR car driver. Uh, the Dip Man's wife. Whoa. Night and day. Oh, my God. I forgot about that one. Top Gun. The Firm. The Mission Impossible series. And A Few Good Men. A Few Good Men is uh, g- coming up on a lot of those here. Uh, let's see here. Um, let's see. Sorry. I'm going to try and go through some of these here. Um, we got I do say I was very tempted to make my whole list just Mission Impossible movies. Uh, Nisi. Oh, Nisi. Our favorite Indiana nurse. Uh, cocktail. Interview with a Vampire. Rain Man. The Firm. And A Few Good Men. Though I love The Outsiders. Honestly, he was barely in it, so I can't count it. Yeah, that's... I had it wrote down originally, but then I just remembered he wasn't really in it. Dev. But he was eating the chocolate cake. That's true. Dev. <sighs> Had Days of Thunder, Minority Report, Top Gun, Cocktail, and The Color of Money. Uh, he had honorable mention, Eyes Wide Shut. It's a top five Christmas movie. <laughs> Oblivion, Jack Reacher, and Tropic Thunder. Uh, let's the see. only person to mention Jack Reacher. Uh, n- and then Nikki. Everybody loves Nikki from Pumazili, from New Zealand. Last Samurai, Rock of Ages. All the Mission Impossible. War of the Worlds. Whoa, 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 Hold on there, Betsy. And Edge of Tomorrow. And finally, we got two more here. Randall Holt, RJ Holt, 666. It's not evil. Just handled that way. Interview with the Vampire. Top Gun. Mission Impossible, quote, all Hobie that shit. Jeremy Choir and a few good men, I guess. I guess that's his list. And finally, Stork, former Canadian of the Year. No, no, no. He was stripped of all oh, yeah, that's right. and whatnot. Stork, Pezla for Galore, Risky Business, Mission Impossible, Cocktail, The Color of Money, and Tropic Thunder. So there you go. So do people really like the cocktail movie, or are they just enamored with the uh, bottle flipping? I think the bottle flipping. It was, an, it was, it was a decent movie. Or are they days just like Elizabeth th- Shue? It's Days of Thunder behind a bar. Um, I love Days of Thunder. I hated Days of Thunder. I hated Days of Thunder. I liked the ride at Kings Island. That, that was, was I rode that. That's all I rode one summer. <laughs> <laughs> Days of Thunder. I, I would I would ride it. I'd get out of line and just ride it. It was a like, motion. Yeah, yep. I moved it. Yep. Uh, bad idea of the week. Uh, number eight seventy five. Defrauding the government of PPP loans. Don't do that. It's only eight seventy five. Wow. Uh, bad idea. You're getting caught defunding <laughs> the government is one thirteen. <laughs> Uh, bad idea number 114, trans morphers or Power Ranger <laughs> beast morphers, whatever, <laughs> naming anything morphers. Uh, that's this week's episode. Thanks for listening. Uh, and we'll be back next week. Roger says goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Walking dead to talking heads from comic books to TV sets. There's a history. Not so bad. There's a history. It's the history of bad, so bad. The history of bad, it's bad. The history of bad ideas. Podcast. Oh, yes. Addendum. Titles for the show. Uh, let's see. Bringing that back, the addendum yeah. portion of the show. I have I Love Them Raw, Road <laughs> to Fruition, Drive Through Corn Dogs, What is Science and Should I Trust It? <laughs> And that's all I had. I didn't write a thing down to this, oh. this today. Whoa. Brian? Uh, I had, I was not spoiled. <laughs> okay. I'd probably K it. K? K. 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 Um, Power Ranger government defraudulators. <laughs> <laughs> Too wordy. <laughs> I think that's what that says. I got water on this piece of paper. Oh. Uh, there's money in the corn dog stand. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's it. We got it. Okay. There's always money in the corn dog stand. And there you go. Roger says goodbye. Again. Goodbye. Bye. You've been listening to Hobie.